part of our 2023 North Dakota Shrine Bowl player profile. Join us as a Fargo Shanley Deacon. That is Will May, who's with us. And Will, for you to get nominated your senior season uh, to this particular event, this uh, Shrine Bowl in Mayville, what does it mean for you? I mean so much. Uh, being nominated for the Shrine Bowl was one of my goals going into the season. And it just means a lot that I get to go out there and play another week of football with a few of my teammates and a few of my rivals. That'll be a lot of fun. Take us through uh, this season, obviously, what you would want as a senior, you know, to go off in style and winning a state football championship. What was this senior season like for you from start to, you know, finishing it off at the Fargo Dome with a title? Every single moment from like the, the summer camps to weightlifting to every practice, it was like the best time of my life. It was just so much fun being out there with my teammates and it was so much fun achieving our goals. To have four players total, you and three teammates get nominated when the rosters came out. What does it say where Fargo Shamley football is right now here in, you know, double A football, the highest class in, in North Dakota? I think it shows a lot about our team and I think it shows a lot about our coaches since we just came up from single A four years ago and we already have four people and a state championship under our belt. I think it just really shows a lot about the program. You mentioned your coaching staff. Oh, well, what have you learned from Coach Mather and the assistant coaches during your time as a deacon? I think the biggest thing I learned from them is nothing in life is given to you. If you want something, you have to work for it. And whoever is like the hungriest, whoever wants it the most and is willing to put in the most work is going to get it. And you mentioned about playing with some rivals, playing with teammates. So is there any particular rival a player or two that you're looking forward to having on your team for a week of football here on the 11 man East team? Uh, not necessarily rivals, but I have my cousins from Valley City, so I know a few of the kids on that team, like Gavin Gerhardt. It'll be fun to play, play with those kids that I've known for a while and that my cousin has known for a while. Is there a favorite football memory that stands out more so than others, whether it's a player, maybe it's something with, with family or friends? Well, I mean, I, I got to assume a state title obviously is right up there, but is there anything else that kind of comes to mind? I think just all the time spent with my teammates, whether it's just, you know, at practice or if it's just going out to eat after a long day or whatever, just the time with the teammates are the times that I cherish the most. If you could go back to your 14 year old self or tell someone who's, you know, chomping at the bit as a freshman, kind of wanting to get their opportunity to play at a varsity sport, whether it's football or something else and be an all conference player or an all star in the state of North Dakota. Well, what would be some words of advice that, you know, you would give to someone who's kind of coming up through the system? I think uh, some good words of advice is it's more than just like the skill and the work you put in practice. Obviously, that gets you places, but. Another really important factor is taking care of your body. You need to be making sure you're eating healthy, sleeping right, weightlifting a lot, you know, stretching, all of that. Final thing for you, well, uh, superstitious. Were you superstitious at all? Did you have to put the left shoe on, so to speak, before the right shoe? Uh, did your team have to do anything before kickoff? Uh, take us through the curtain a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, I was pretty superstitious. Every night before the games, I would have to wash my pads. I would drink a certain, like, a few certain types of Gatorades every night before, watch Thursday night football game, stretch out while I was watching it, and then get nine hours of sleep. Then on game day, I would go to Chipotle every day before the game with my quarterback. So you went to Chipotle. Let's do this on the, the follow-up here. What was the – did you have the same, like, burrito or same type of a, a certain a meal, or did you switch it up a little bit? Yeah, I would always have a burrito. I'd get it like a pretty big one, double wrap for all the carbs and then all the beans, the rice, and then I'd get chicken and steak. And then, yeah, I think, and then I just get a water cup to go along with it to stay hydrated too. So awesome. Uh, well, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck moving forward as well. Coming up in the fall at North Dakota State University and here in the Shrine Bowl. Thank you.